I actually feel bad for developers. Every month there is a new tool which can create code, which can build software from scratch and you are left wondering as a developer, are you even going to be relevant? Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and if you feel confused, if you feel afraid of all of these tools, this video is going to help you with it. Today we are doing the ultimate comparison of all the AI tools out there which can help you code. Everything from an assistant to a full-blown coding agent. I'll show you all the latest AI coding tools that you can start using for completely free and build apps from scratch and which one should be used in which situation. Make sure that you watch till the end, hit the like button and subscribe and let's have a look at the first and the latest in our roster, OpenAI Codex. Now OpenAI Codex is this new tool from OpenAI which is a cloud-based software engineering agent. Think of Codex as an assistant which can look at all of your code, make any changes to it, create tests, find bugs, review all the code, suggest improvements, do GitHub pull requests and do all of that on cloud. So you simply have to connect to GitHub. For example, Codex is right now looking at my current website, finding out the bugs, looking at the code structure and trying to improve that and trying to identify tasks for typos. So it's doing all of that at the same time. And I can even ask it to add new pages to my website just like I've done right here and it's going to do that in parallel to all the other tasks right now. Now comparing OpenAI Codex with Cursor, which you might have already heard and even tried out yourself, this is a coding assistant which is right into your IDE and it's going to help you make changes to the entire code base that you have. Now the caveat here is you cannot ask it to make an entire app and expect it to be completely flawless. The way cursor and other AI tools work is that you give it smaller tasks, you break the entire web app into various different tasks and you ask it to execute these one by one while making no other changes to other parts of the code bases. And it does require you to have some technical knowledge about how the code is structured, what exactly do you want to change. If you know that, that is going to be very helpful. So as you can see, we are writing the filter button and the page pub logo are currently not attached in the main element. Please update it so that they stay relative to the main element. So you have to know the keywords and then you can advise it to make all the changes and it's going to do the updations, deletions, adding all the comments and things like that. And this is basically how cursor effectively works right here. Now on the lighter side, we have something called Jules. This is a new AI tool by Google, which is like your junior developer. Now think of Jules as a agent which is going to write smaller pieces of code in your entire code base. So you can ask it to create some tests, you can ask it to find some bugs, write some small functions, write some small classes and objects and things like that. It's going to do it for you one by one. As you can see, this is basically how it works. It's great for bug fixing, for version bumps, for tests, for even fixing some part of the code that you have. You have to basically agree to the privacy, log in to Jules with GitHub. And in about a minute, you can add any repository you want and you can ask it to make some changes to it. You can give it smaller tasks that you want to execute and while it is doing that, you can go and work on the other parts of the code base. It will read all of your files and make a plan for what all to add in your complete database. So once I can approve the plan, it's going to implement these changes right here. Now as a developer, you would agree that it's very hard for you to today find real jobs that pay you enough and keep you on the payroll. In 2024 alone, over 2.6 lakh developers were laid off. Big tech companies are freezing hiring or slowing it down around the world and it is harder than ever before for you to actually get paid work. You might even be a great developer but still find it hard to get opportunities at the pay that you deserve. Now if you relate with this and you are confused about what to do in 2025, check out this amazing platform I found out recently called Outlier. Outlier is a platform that lets front-end developers earn money by helping train AI systems. They work with top AI companies to improve how large language models understand code and they need real developers for that. Could be reviewing AI-generated HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, giving feedback on UI UX, design, accessibility, and writing prompts to teach AI how good front-end code should work. You don't need AI experience or a degree to do this. Just solid skills in front-end technologies like React, Vue, Next.js, and an eye for clean and accessible design. So if you just have this, 
English proficiency and an experience in building polished and production ready web interfaces, you are good to go. The best part is you can earn up to $27 per hour in India and $50 an hour in the rest of the world. And it's fully remote. You can work wherever you want, whenever you want. There are countless developers making thousands of dollars in side income by working at Outlier. Take an example of Daniel, who's a MIT student and is able to make $4,000 by logging in 100 hours in Outlier as a developer. Now to get started as a front-end developer, just click the link in the description and go on to Outlier and take a short test by completing three simple front-end tasks and if you pass all of them, you'll be invited by Outlier to join their paid gig network. So if you want to keep growing as a developer, earn some side income and work on shaping the future of AI, do not wait. Check out the link in the description and start getting paid for what your skills are worth. Check out Outlier and let's move on to the next coding AI tool. Moving on, there's another tool by Google called Firebase Studio, which you should absolutely check out if you want to start some prototyping. So let's say you want to make a basic minimal viable product and then you want to show it to people, get some feedback on it and then improve and actually build your whole website. This is great for creating a basic first version of an app. This is what Firebase Studio is all about. So let's say I want it to create a simple mind map. It basically turns my notes uses our AI LLM to turn it into mind maps. And I can basically click on prototype with AI and it's going to start building this project for me from scratch. So as you can see, it is going to make a basic plan for what this mind map app should look like. It has figured out what stack it needs for the UI as well as for the AI. And then I can just click and say prototype this app right here. And it's going to now start building the basic structure of it. It's going to take about five, 10 minutes. The best part about it is that you don't need to know about code. Like you can be a complete, uh, you know, PM, you could be just a builder, just a hacker. You can simply describe what you wanted to make and it will do it, but only the very basic elements of it. Don't expect it to make a very, you know, amazing looking website. And you have your first prototype of the app, good to go. You can basically create the mind map right here and it's going to work on it, turn your notes into a complete ready to use mind map. That is what we have right here. Now you can always make it better by prompting more, but this is the idea. Now one very cool feature of Firebase Studio is that you can go here and click on this mode in which you can select individual elements of this website and ask it to make some changes to it. And that I think is very cool because this gives you ultimate freedom to select individual elements and just make changes to that particular element itself. That to me is pretty cool and that's why Firebase Studio is great for prototyping. There's another Google tool called Google Stitch, which is more of a design centric coding app. Let's say you want to make a simple portfolio website in the style of Netflix. So you ask it to generate the design for it. It's going to say, take some time and give you the entire user journey of what the app would actually look like. So the complete wireframes with all the information, a high fidelity overview of what the app could look like. And it gave me this entire web UI in less than one minute. How cool is that? I can also make any changes if I want to by just clicking over here. I can select the color theme. I can select the corner radius, the font, things like that. For example, I asked it to make this complete web design for my app, which is into content marketing. And it made this entire web app in front of me. Now I can click on individual screens and I can get the code for it. That is the best part about it. I can basically copy this code and I have now have a great good to go front end that I can apply to any code base that I want to. But this is the best part about it. You can go onto any screen, you can access the Figma, you can also access the code of this particular design. And that to me is amazing. As you can see, it creates a very high fidelity version of the design of your app and you can very easily convert this into code and go ahead and use it wherever you want to. Okay, but now let's talk about the beast in coding agents. And I'm talking about Replit. Replit has this insane coding agent. They just rolled out their 2.0 update. And along with that, it's now better than ever before for creating amazing looking websites by simply describing what you want it to look like. For example, I asked it to make the simple e-commerce store and it literally took all of my images all of the links that I have over here and turned it into this amazing to use website that you can see right here. And it is responsive. I can basically ask it, I can interact with it, I can see the cart, I can check out by adding Stripe. But this is honestly the holy grail of coding agents. You can basically ask it to have a database, you can even deploy this, you can add a custom domain to it and you can literally launch full-blown SaaS apps by just using Replit coding agent without knowing anything about coding. And as you can see, it basically looks at the app I want to make, it will analyze the plan for it 
and once that is done it will then create checkpoints so it will make basic updates it will ask you if it is good to go then it will go ahead and do the next thing and that is the iterative process through which it is able to build this amazing app for you in minutes. This is what the deployment looks like. You can preview the site. You can also go ahead and deploy it and it can scale automatically depending on the load that you have on your website, which I think is really, really cool. So that is essentially how Replit works. These were all of the main coding tools that we have today, going from OpenAI Codex to Cursor to Google Stitch to Firebase Studio, to Jules, to now Replit, and I've already made a video about Lovable. It all comes down to what are you really doing? If you're making a simple prototype, maybe Firebase Studio is a great starting point. If you want to create designs and turn that into code, maybe Stitch is a better use for that. If you want to write small test cases and check out some bugs, maybe a better tool to use is Jules. Let's say you want to have a ready to go coding assistant in your IDE, Cursor is a good idea for that. Or let's say you want to basically run multiple tasks at the same time, you can use OpenAI Codex for that. Or if you are a coding beginner, you don't know anything about coding, you can very well just go on to Replit and ask it to create amazing looking websites with a backend deployed, ready to go, which can scale infinitely. And that is the best part about it. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I hope this video helped you get more clarity about what you want to do, what tool you want to use. Let me know below how many of these tools have you used in your own daily life. Also check out Outlier with the link in the description if you want to start earning some side income from the comfort of your home by doing tasks on Outlier's paid gig network. That's all from me. I'll see you in the next video.